Welcome back to Spring Cities Live. Former model and host of America's Next Top Model, Tyra Banks, coined the term smize. Smizing. That means to smile with your eyes she in 2018. She really doesn't mess around with models. No, and look, the, here she is with Kelly and Ryan, and she's teaching them how to just put it all out what there. Are Kelly there and There are various doing? levels of success. <laughs> Ryan, someone check on Ryan. There was a smize in there somewhere. Oh wow, Tyra's got the smize. I once saw Tyra at a restaurant in New York City, and she was holding court with oh, all really? sorts of people around her. Yeah, and I was like, oh, that's what a supermodel looks like that in real life. <laughs> That's why they're supermodels. I get it. Okay, so we're all wearing masks in our daily lives. The smize has really become even more important, though, because you can express your feelings through your eyes. And here with tips on how to make your eyes pop, we welcome TCL's beauty guru, Sarah Bartlett. Sarah, it's not as smile. Uh, yeah, Hi, and it's not as simple as just like vanity of making your eyes look good. It really is a means now. of communication now, Sarah. Yeah, it absolutely is. And the good news is that you can use makeup with just a few simple things to really make your eyes as expressive as possible. Okay, so you say we have a few steps for this. We'll start at step one, which is start any eyeshadow look with a primer. I never understand primers when we talk about primers, but what would a primer do for your eventual finished look? Yeah, so an eye primer will not only make your shadow last longer, but it will make the colors appear more vivid and more saturated. Uh, so that's why you want to start with an eyeshadow primer. You can find them anywhere at any price point. I especially like drugstore version Milani's eyeshadow primer. Oh. That's a really good one. I do think, though, I've gotten talked into using concealer as primer. Like, oh, it's fine. It's the same. Sarah, mm -hmm. I don't think it is. I don't think concealer can do double duty because I found that then it creases. Oh. Yeah, no, concealer is not intended to be an eyeshadow primer. You know, you will find a lot of people who say that they use it that way. If it works for you, that's fine, yeah. but it's really not meant to be used that way. Mm -hmm. All right, now we get to number two. And listen, this is where we go to like a master class on how to do your eyes right. <laughs> you say step two, when you're putting on your eyeshadow, you have to do something with brown shadow first. What do you do? What's the technique? Yeah, well, I appreciate you calling me messing around on camera with makeup a master class, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> well, when you're talking to a guy like me, you seem like a genius. <laughs> All right, so start with a, a soft brown shadow that is one or two shades darker than your natural skin tone. Okay. And what you want to do is create some definition in your eye. So you want to do essentially a little contouring on your eye, and that will give you shape and be a nice counterpoint to the color that we're going to bring in next. Oh, look how pretty that is. So you just did that little just bit a of little like bit a base. Too. And then, oh, now she's going to pop with the color. Sarah Bartlett, I like your style. Thank you. Yeah, so I chose a bright raspberry color. This is where you can go crazy, have fun, whatever. You know, if you're not normally a color person in your eyeshadow, which I'm not, you're not going to see me with like a three, you know, tone eyeshadow look mm -hmm. most days. But I love having a little bit of color right near my lash line because it offsets your eyes. It really will bring out the, the whatever color your eyes are. So have fun with that. But I like your idea there of what you were doing there is just taking that angled brush and just running it right across the lash line. I think what people get concerned about is this when they see those really artsy cool looks of like a full eyelid of color, Sarah, that can feel like, all right, I'm not a model in a magazine. Right. I'm just, you know, running to Target. <laughs> Yeah, we're not all Tyra Banks holding court anywhere. So this is an <laughs> easy way to get that color on your on your eyes, have fun, and also really make your eyes pop. Now it's time to focus on our lashes. Uh, you, I would imagine, will use what I think looks like a torture device, yeah, <laughs> and it's the the eyelash curling thing. That takes a delicate touch, does it not? Um, it really doesn't. Okay. No, I mean it, okay, it looks scary. Used to it. Okay. Yeah. Looks scary. Yeah, you get used to it. I mean, obviously, use it with care, but it's not difficult to use, and it makes a huge difference. So curl your lashes, grab some mascara. I, I'm suggesting lately using a water-resistant mascara because waterproof is sometimes a little too hard to take off. Um, regular mascara can smudge or flake. Water-resistant is like the perfect in-between. And I really like Pacifica's Aquarian Gaze Water-Resistant Mascara. You can find that lots of places, too. Oh, they have cute packaging, too, Sarah. You know I'm a sucker for packaging. And I just like, like the fonts and the colors, and it's really sweet. Now, yeah. okay, you've got a game changer. This is the one that you we say, all this need to is buckle it, up and for. And this is really going to make the difference between your eyes looking like done, but then really popping. Yes, so this is it. So apply a nude eyeliner to your waterline. That might be new for some people. Um, it's such a subtle move, but it makes your eyes appear brighter and more awake. 
The key is to choose a color that's pinky or peachy nude, not white, which raise your hand if you did that in the 90s and 2000s. <laughs> yeah. Is the waterline like the spot almost like right inside of your bottom eyelash? Yeah. Does that hurt to do or do you just sort of figure out how to do it just eventually? Just don't poke your eye. <laughs> yeah. Is your yeah, done? exactly. That's excellent advice for anything. Just don't poke your eye. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> but it does. It makes a huge difference. And I like the tip of the nude or the pinky instead of like the bright, stark white. Because sure. the bright, stark white can look kind of Unnatural. dated. And then, Sarah, it looks like you've got like a little bit of highlighter even inside here, too. And I think that makes I, a big difference. Yeah, yep. So it is just a little bit of shimmer right in the inner corner. And that, again, does add just a little bit of brightness, a little sparkle. So those are all those are all easy things you can do to make your eyes look fantastic with your mask on. Oh, my gosh. To Elizabeth's point, six months ago, this would have seemed like just any other makeup segment. It's just sort of rooted in vanity at the end of the day, make your eyes look better. Now it's how we communicate. I Sarah know. Bartlett. Totally. Thank enough. you so much. And um, shout out to Gravy, who's on the bed behind you, looking very, very cute. That sleeping little pup. Okay, we posted oh, Sarah's makeup tips and a link to her blog on our website, TwinCitiesLive.com. Isn't Gravy the best dog?